Hi, I'm Tess Marty or Tess Tattoo, and this is a video to show you what an appointment looks like with us at the studio. When you first come in, we're gonna greet you, and then we're gonna get you to sign a medical history and consent form. Once those forms are completed, we're gonna take you over to our bed. We have a space where you can put your items, and then we're gonna take before photos so that we can document the process. After we take photos, we go through a consultation process with you, and we work together to figure out exactly what you want. It's really helpful for us as artists if you can bring in inspirational photos or even lipsticks or any type of product to show us so that we can get a really good idea of what you want as far as color and coverage goes. We help you pick the color by using our expertise and experience. Expect to come in and go with a color a little brighter than what you're hoping for. The tattoo does fade 50%, so it's really important that you trust us when it comes to picking the color so that you can get the healed result that you want to achieve. If you have melanin-rich lips or darkness in your lips, we may have to go through a neutralization process, which is where we use specific pigment colors to lighten and even out the darkness in your lips before we can apply a target color. Once the color is decided upon, we create a pre-drawing. This is when we talk about the shape and structure of your lips and create a design that is specifically customized to you and your preferences. We can do things like add fullness or even out asymmetry. We do have limitations with the tattoo, but we can definitely make improvements. Once the shape and design are approved by you, we're gonna ask if you wanna to go to the washroom or if you wanna have some water before we start tattooing. The tattoo process is over an hour long, so we do recommend that you bring headphones for a podcast or a music playlist. As far as the pain goes, lots of our clients fall asleep. We do use lots of numbing during the procedure. After your lips are numb, we start the tattoo by creating a really soft outline that secures and locks in the shape. This outline will be visible the first day and the second day, but will blend in with the rest of the tattoo once healed. After the outline is done, we go over the lips in layers. Usually we do about three to four layers of pigment. Lips don't typically bleed during the procedure. If there is any blood, it's very, very small specks or pinpoint bleeding. Immediately after the procedure, when you look, expect your lips to be swollen and bright like you're wearing lipstick. The brightness lasts about two to three days and the swelling lasts about 24 hours. At the end of your appointment, we will go over the aftercare with you. It is really important that you follow the aftercare so that you can have the best healed results possible. When we go over the aftercare, we will give you everything that you need in a kit to take home with you to take care of your tattoo. The healing process is about five days maximum. The first day, you're gonna look bright and swollen like lipstick. The second day, the swelling goes down, but you're still gonna look like you're wearing lipstick. The third day is when the scabbing starts to form, and by day four or five, the scabbing will all come off and you can go back to your regular routine. It does take six weeks for the color to completely develop, so we do ask that you don't pay attention or don't get too used to the tattoo color until six weeks healed. During the couple weeks of the healing phase, you might notice patchiness, you might notice darkness, you might notice lightness, or brightness, so it's really important that you wait six weeks before you make final judgments on your tattoo. We can't wait to see you at the studio. If you have any questions at all, please email us at testtattoo at outlook.com. My name is Amber Stenson or Amber Stencils on Instagram. I'm getting my lips tattooed today because I love the idea of a low maintenance makeup routine in the mornings. I also work with Tess Marty out of her studio doing lip tattooing, so I definitely thought it was time. Being a lip blush artist already, working with many clients and doing lip tattooing, I'm definitely gonna trust the process. I know my lips will be bright and swollen immediately after, but that will all subside, and I don't expect there to be too much pain. The process was really good. It was to a T almost everything I was expecting and what I tell my clients, so that was really interesting. I tell my clients that the first, or the Cupid's bow, the first pass and the last five minutes can be a little bit pokey and spicy, but it's nothing that's too much. And that was very true, which was interesting to see. Um, there were no parts of the procedure that were like unbearable or anything. And my lips right now feel a little spicy, but it kind of feels like I'm wearing um, plumping lip gloss, which I actually like. So I was a little nervous when the needle was first going, entering my skin, just cause needles in my face kind of freak me out, even though I've had lip filler before. But I was actually very calm and it just felt like a vibration. I didn't even feel it at all. So 
that was nice. That's what my clients tell me too, but it was nice to see it for myself. When I saw my lips in the mirror, I loved them. I've been waiting a very long time to have them done, so I was very excited and Tess did a really, really good job. The color is great. They're a tiny bit swollen, which happens to everyone, um, but nothing too crazy, so I wasn't too, too shocked. I'm excited to go through the healing process myself as I always go over healing aftercare instructions with my clients, so I'm excited to experience that firsthand and see the difference between now and the initial healing, which is five days, and then when the full final color blooms, which is at the six weeks.